Hey guys, it's Dr. Berg here. In this video, I want to ask you a question. Do you realize an average American drinks 50 gallons of poison every single year? Yeah, check this out. Table sugar converts to glucose and fructose, two different types of sugar. Glucose and fructose, the difference is simply uh, the shape of that molecule. That's it. Very, very similar, but just slightly different shape. But the way the body processes these sugars are completely different. In other words, glucose is processed by all of the cells. Your cells can metabolize and use that sugar. Uh, it does affect insulin as well. So insulin comes in and lowers the sugar. So your whole body is used to glucose. But as far as fructose goes, no. Not, not one cell in your body can metabolize fructose. So what happens? It ends up in the liver as the last resort. And it's treated like a poison. Okay, so, so the body has to get rid of it. So what does it do? It converts it into fat deposits around the liver around the heart, around the organs, and that's what's really behind the fatty liver. So you might think, well, a fatty liver only comes from drinking alcohol. No, it can come from consuming fructose. It causes insulin resistance because that's in the liver. So it messes up the receptors for insulin because your body's trying to reject it and block it and block this poison by downgrading the receptors so it doesn't get in anymore. So that's diabetes. So we've got diabetes, bad cholesterol, fatty liver, high blood pressure, fluid retention, inflammation, uh, liver cirrhosis because of the scar tissue and inflammation that occurs. So it's really a bad deal. But if you actually uh, listen to even some of the, like the American Dietetic Association, they say that there's no difference between fruit and fructose. It's both the same. Sugar is sugar. No, 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 no. That's not true. In fruit, <clears throat> which our bodies weren't designed to consume very much anyway, maybe seasonal, seasonal uh, when they're in, uh, when it's ripe. But let me ask you this: Could you actually consume 10 apples or 20 apples? No, because the fiber in the fruit stops the consumption of it. Plus, you have all the enzymes in there, and you have the nutrients as well. So it's not the same as just pure fructose that we're making from high fructose corn syrup. Uh, so yes, corn is so-called natural, but the way that we're consuming it is not natural. It's not meant to drink our corn sugar or our fruit sugar. So it creates a serious situation on the liver. And that's how it actually happened to me as well. Growing up, I had so much sugar and I'm still paying the price for that. So if I were to go back in time, um, I would have uh, made sure especially all my kids in the very beginning, that no uh, sodas, no juice. What you should do is you could take a, a carbonated water and take liquid flavored stevia. Okay, put 10 drops or five drops in this carbonated water. It makes the greatest soda. No sugar, tastes great. Your kids won't tell the difference. Okay, so that's what you need to have your kids consume versus the sugar and the sodas. And definitely like uh, if you're going to a fast food place, do not consume that liquid drink because most of that's high fructose corn syrup, 60% of it. So it's just, um, it's a cheap filler. It's subsidized, subsidized by the government. So it's just like, that's why they're doing it. It's, it makes more profit, uh, but it's not good for your liver. Um, but an average person is consuming way, way, way too much. Uh, there's also no negative feedback. So when you consume this drink, there's no turn off switch. You can do a lot of fructose without being satisfied. So and it's highly addictive. So here you are, something with something that's more addictive than Coke, uh, cocaine, and you're basically consuming this thing. That's a really dangerous situation because you're going to crave it and then you're going to drink it and there's no turn off switch. So it's highly addictive. The way you're consuming it is not natural, but even now corn is so-called natural. Not to mention, I'm not going to even get into the GMO thing uh, with corn and soy, but the problem is that our bodies do not process fructose the way we do with glucose. And it's a completely toxic poison to our bodies. And we're doing this huge experiment right now uh, where 
we're putting more and more into the food supply and people are buying it unknowingly. Not, I mean, not just in the sodas, it's in the foods, it's in the cereal, it's in the yogurt, it's in the ice creams, it's in a lot of different foods. Uh, so you have to start reading the labels. If it says high fructose corn syrup or it says corn syrup, which is the same thing a lot of times because they just switch the definition, I would not consume it at all, okay? So go ahead and make the switch and start consuming more of the carbonated waters with the liquid stevia and stay away from this sugar right here. So um, I'll see you in the next video. Before you go real quick, I have a course entitled How to Bulletproof Your Immune System. It's a free course. I want you to take it. And here's why. Here's you. Here is your environment. Everyone is focused on this over here, avoiding your environment. But what about here? What about strengthening your immune system? That's what's missing. This course will show you how to bulletproof yourself. And so you can tolerate and resist your environment much better by strengthening your own immune system. I put a link down in the description right down below. Check it out and get signed up today.